Welcome to Eye to Eye, brought to you by Retina Associates of Kentucky. This nationally recognized, award-winning practice offers a broad range of services to patients all over Kentucky. We're talking to Dr. Rick Eisenhagen, partner and physician at Retina Associates of Kentucky. What is ocular histoplasmosis and why does it affect so many Kentuckians? Ocular histoplasmosis is caused by exposure to a fungus, histoplasma capsulatum. Uh, the spores of the fungus are in the soil and the initial infection is a lung infection. Usually this infection clears without problems, uh, but it does leave some scars in the lung and there can be some scars in the eye as well. Ocular histoplasmosis occurs many years later after the infection is long gone where changes can occur in some of the scars in the retina and can lead to vision problems. Abnormal blood vessels can grow around and within the scars and bleed and leak fluid into the retina. If the scar is in the area of the macula, which is the reading portion of the retina, then the patient will have symptoms. Uh, the symptoms will be um, distorted vision or blurred vision, or there may be some uh, blind spots or dark spots near the center of the vision. Left untreated, this can lead to loss of the central vision and in, in severe cases can lead to legal blindness. Fortunately, there are treatments for this. Um, the first treatment that we used prior to 2006 was laser treatment, which uh, stopped the blood vessels and uh, closed them, and the blood and the fluid would leave and vision could be restored. However, more recently, over the last six years, we have been giving injections of special medicines in the eye, which work better than laser. Uh, they dry up these blood vessels and they cause them to go away and not grow and not bleed and actually can restore vision in many patients. Uh, most patients will respond to the drug treatment if they um, are presenting early enough in the disease. And uh, the reason that it's more common in Kentucky is that uh, the soil in Kentucky has higher levels of the spores that, are, that cause the disease because it's in the Ohio River Valley uh, for some reason, it may be climate or it may be the soil conditions in our area along the Ohio River Valley. Uh, these states um, have a higher incidence of this disease, whereas some areas of the country, it's very rare. Most patients, uh, or most people, most people who live in Kentucky are exposed to this fungus. This has been Eye to Eye, brought to you by Retina Associates of Kentucky. Follow us on Facebook, call, or log on to retinaky.com for more information.